This is a ecological research station situated in southern Georgia near the Florida border. Um, what's really exciting about this particular um, ecosystem is that this is a longleaf pine habitat and it's full of medicinal plants everywhere. Everywhere I turn, I see things that have a history of use, especially in Native American medicine. We're here to collect these plants and many others. We have over 200 species that we've targeted on our list. So we collect these, extract them, and then examine their potential for activity against multi-drug resistant bacteria that are commonly implicated in infections of sores and wounds and, and kind of ulcerations. I've been able to bring a nice large group of students with me. And these Emory students come from a select pool that have worked in my lab in the past or that have taken my course Botanical Medicine and Health. I came on the trip, one, because uh, Dr. Huev is awesome, and two, to study Native American remedies for wounds and infections. Well, my grandma's grandma is full Cherokee and they didn't have health care, so a lot of the things that my grandma knows she would pass down to me. Um, a lot of the time she would just use remedies when we couldn't get to the hospital and it's very interesting to me that she knew what to do and so I thought I'd come down here and study how she knew that. And so these are students that are really um, interested in medicinal plants but perhaps have never ever spent any time in the woods. Um, many of them have never learned how to collect a plant or how to identify it. So far I've learned that everything that is on the ground has roots underneath that are very important. Um, two, that field work is incredibly difficult. It is not easy at all. Our days in the field start early, and that's because it's very hot here in June, July in South Georgia. Um, it's also very buggy. So we start off um, usually in the field around 7 a.m. We have a truckload of, of equipment and presses, shovels. And they get really excited about finding species that we've been hunting for. And we get to find all of our specimens, like going back to the lab and seeing all of them nice and organized and knowing that we're actually going to do something with it is pretty, that's a pretty amazing thing to see. I think this experience is something that will last with them as one of the memorable moments of their time in college. My hope is that what they gain from this is a better connection to nature.